okay why don't we do um maybe a little cluster i've got some fibers the red kind of goes with that page let's see and this is a journaling page then so i've got all sorts of bits here bits and bobs I quite like it all kind of dangling down there's a scrap there that's quite nice dangling down there like that can I recreate that let's see let's use a bit of beacon three and one I think if I just pull it and pop some down on the page that back okay then you can maneuver the threads a bit and then I just bring a thin snail trail on there and this piece trying to avoid the glue getting all gluey and all fibrous so let's that reminds me a little bit of spider's legs this eyelash trim oh i like that i like that sticking out so that's nice okay now See if I have a word or anything that I can use. I don't seem to have specific words, so we'll pop. Maybe I'll look for one of those. It's a nice bit of spiderous um, washi, spidery, I should say, washi tape, and. I can get it undone with my awful nails. We could have a bit of that maybe on the edge of the page. Take the page out. So bit there. And then a bit of it goes on the other side like that. So that's that page. Just something on it um, ready for someone to journal on. And I'm just going to go, actually I'll take that out and I'll go around the whole page with this. And that I think will frame everything. So because these signatures are in with the elastic, um, people can swap the pages, you know, whoever has this, swap the pages around, take some out, add some different ones in. It's really very flexible. So I think that has really improved that to no end. Okay, and it's in keeping with this sort of ready theme. I've got red and black in here. Okay, so this is a really nice, nice, oh, lovely, lovely feel to this paper. Feels really old. So I think I'm going to pop this spider pocket on like this. Be nice. Maybe we have it there. I'm going to, it's because this is on thick card, this spider pocket. I will use the beacon three 
here one just a thin bead down there and I quite like that there I don't always have to have everything in the middle hope you can see but all I'm doing is sticking this pocket on that I've already backed onto card so all these pieces are the add-on kit and pink monarch prints from her Etsy shop she has some really lovely things and she has videos to go with all these super simples and she has a super simples um, range in other genres so not just this like halloweeny gothicy spooky stuff so i got a nice piece of coffee dyed paper and i think that would be nice in that pocket there maybe i'll pop it up that way i love this where the coffee is almost looks like a burn so that I like, so that that shows, and let's see what else have I got that I can put in there. Do we want anything else in there? Hmm, I've got this, which is the back of my collage book, the back cover, and I thought that was really nice. So I'm going to make a tag out of that, so pop that to one side. So you can utilise every bit of things, even the cover of collage books, you know. So I'm going to make a tag and I'm going to choose now where I quite like the cobweb in it. So I don't want it too wide. So let's have one of this width. Make sure that doesn't fall down. And it is white on the back, so let's grungy that up with some distressing anyway. First of all. And before you know it, the white has gone. Okay, now I'm going to make a tab, a tag. Oh, and I'm going to use my small. So this is just an old credit. It's not even a credit. It's an English heritage card. If you cut the corners off different, different um, measures, you get different size tags very simple very easy and very um cheap <laughs> because everyone has some card in their wallet or purse you know we call our money um what we keep our money in our purse but i know in, in the u.s Probably in other places abroad, you call that, that purse is your handbag. So, anyway, that's what I mean by that. So, whatever your wallet is, you've all got some cards, loyalty cards are the best, I think. The old loyalty cards you don't want anymore. Just, I mean, I wouldn't probably use my credit card, I'd probably just chop that completely up. So, that's what the bank tells you to do chop it up so small that, and put it in various different bins that's what I do <laughs> and of course I'm not paranoid about somebody getting it <laughs> and being able to stick it all together <laughs> could you imagine that <laughs> someone presenting so there you are I've got a lovely card a tag made out of cover of a collage book and this was the collage book i'm going to show you this so i keep going on about it so it's this gothic love decor collage book some of the things in it i wouldn't use i've already used a bit of the front cover that's the back cover or it was <laughs> and i used it <laughs> and inside 
there are things all different bits and pieces and each page actually is backed with this lovely uh, faux sort of coffee staining staining so I mean some of these things are, I'm not too keen on myself I certainly wouldn't put I don't think I would put a gravestone on anything I made um, that is a bit too dark um, a satanic kind of like that RIP I don't think I would use that you know um, it's just a bit too much for me I'm not going over to the dark side anytime soon so you'll be pleased to know but it's got some nice things like this lovely crow which we could probably utilize anyway that's the book i keep banging on about so i've got this let's pop get the cropper dial back susan don't keep putting things away um oh let me find an eyelet to go in it so let's have a look we've got these are dark so um, actually i think this dark bronzy color oh i find that, oh no that's a heart shape that one what other shapes have we got then i forget that some of these are shaped we've got a star we don't want that We don't want really hard shape. I don't particularly want one. I don't fancy it. So hopefully this is just a plain one. Yes, we'll use that. Now this copper dial is my nemesis. <laughs> it's not keen on me and I'm not keen on it. So this will be hit and miss. And hopefully it's worked. that has worked hallelujah it's worked now i understand why some crafters have a little hammer and see that's quite rough and i don't like that being rough so i'm going to put a little bit of washi on it what other washi have i got got this one here oh that's bats this is quite a nice one. Oh, I like this one actually. I like this black and white stripe one. I like it. So I'm just going to tear some off. Pop that over there. See if I can make that even either side. And now I'm just going to put the hole back in. <laughs> Let's see. Which hole did I use that one? So it's better if I do it that way, I think. I may. Yeah, once you've done that, you can't really, but you can if you're careful and you can find exactly where the hole was. It avoids the metal there. So that for me is much kinder to the hands. Right, so let's pop something in it. Why not some of this eyelash trim? It's quite nice and spidery it's got a bit of glitter in it so that's very nice so we're just gonna take that down a bit and that can be for the next um cluster we make that scrap oh, eyelash trim gets everywhere though okay so we're gonna add that into here I thought the colours matched very nicely. So that's that page. Okay. Very lovely. Um, got some nice vellum there. I love the feel of it. This one's got some nice script on it in silver. I thought that would be nice. I don't like sticking too much to these because they don't like glue, these vellum sheets. I have got some stickers. They're not specifically for this. They're just a series of all sorts. Well, there's a nice candelabra there. I think that would be quite nice. Yeah, this is um, decor stickers from, well, from China. I think I got them from um, not BB Crafts because I've never bought anything from them. Um, oh, 
trying to think now. So it's much better to stick a sticker on, really. Okay. What's the other one called? I can't think what it's called off the top of my head. Um, do we want that page that way or that way? Maybe we'll, we'll have it like that. Nice spiderweb paper. That's out of that book. Oh, it's got a little bit of white edge there I'm not keen on. So I'm just going to take that off. I must have missed that when I cut the page down to size. So I'm just going to fold that that way and put it in like this and line it up. Lovely that guillotine is. I was really lucky that I had that for a birthday. Right, that's better, that's more like it. I'm just gonna go around this like this because it does have white showing. That's okay. Don't have to do all the pages. I'll probably go around and do the whole lot off camera. Okay, so that is going back in here, like that, and let's stamp that nice spider onto here, I think. Gosh, I don't know if your desk is the same as mine, but honestly, it's like... It's like the Bermuda Triangle. <laughs> Put something down and it immediately disappears. Okay, so I'm going to pop this this side here. Like that. I do like that. It's very nice. Then for this side, I've got the stitching where well, I'll use this one so pop that off pop this on so just going to line that up the edge of the block my stamp block I remembered what it was called <laughs> takes me a while sometimes these days <laughs> to remember what things are called I don't know when as soon as I start videoing you know for a YouTube video my mind just seems to go to mush so I want to do a bit of stitching um cross stitching on here and I'm going to sort of do it down that edge there Just a little bit like that, which I think is nice. And then I'm going to use a bit of this washi again, spidery washi. And I'm going to pop some of that a bit with the spiders on. And I'm going to fold it over there like so. So little, simple little things, you know, don't have to be absolutely amazing, do they? And I'm going to put that halfway across there, like that. Turn my page over, and that way you get the bit on either side. It's just a little impression. So there's a little bit there, and a little bit up there. And then that... page and go back in there so I'm, I'm leaving some pages at the moment I don't generally fill up every page as I've come across it I kind of like to do random things 
So this is kind of a journaling page. It would be quite nice maybe on here. And I may do this side of it. Where is it? This side of it actually because I'm conscious everything's at the moment has gone on that side. So I'm just going to take that out. And I think what I'll do is get some paper. And maybe we will, perhaps we'll make a book page envelope and put some of this in. This is actually some old, it's actually witch, witch pages from um, witch trials and things like that. The ones that you can download free and it's all kind of in Latin and stuff like that and I just love it. And I'd quite like to pop that somewhere, which would be nice, wouldn't it? Um, what if perhaps we'll make a side pocket, you know, a side band or something. Um, it's all grungy. So, this would be quite nice. Could do a belly band either across or down um let me see what have i got that i can use for a belly band in my pile of stash i've got a nice black piece of old paper here all i could do is double it over let's do that and that makes it thicker, more heavy duty. It's not even this piece, it's a scrap. I'm just going to bend it over like that. Trim it down. Um, yeah, trim the side so that it's straight like that. Okay, I'm putting it on the floor. Okay, and then because it's double thickness, it might be nice to leave that as a pocket. Okay, so I'm going to cut it down to. I don't want it going edge to edge so about there would be fine I'm just going to straighten it on my sorry I, I can't straight and if I start chopping it back now I'm going to make it too narrow I just need that edge see there's quite a bit there that needed to come off Right, okay, now let's um, round the corners of that. And we'll use the seven and see what it looks like. That's, that's okay. That's plenty rounded. So just round the top. And then I'm going to... I could make it into a double pocket so let me just get the center so all i'm doing is folding it but i'm not pinching it down and i'm literally pinching that corner so now i know that's the center so i'm just going to pop some glue on here so i'm popping some looks like this is dried over I left it undone but you know, I keep shutting things up and opening them straight away so so this goodness me okay I'm just not using that at the moment this beacon 3 in 1 is very very reliable just a tiny line 
but you can rub off the excess tiny line down there bead where did I say my center line was center line is here so it doesn't matter which side you glue but I can see that line quite clearly there so I am then pop it on some paper and hey presto we have a double pocket belly band okay gosh I need to get my I've got bits everywhere all on my hand I don't like them I don't know if you know me at all but I don't like all that I shall rub that off but we're going to cover it anyway just trim that down a bit sticking out okay so that then is going to go on this like so still not quite right oh that's better right so that's where it's going to go but before we put it down we want to decorate it so just two nice things i think these numbers would be great so i'm this time i'm going to pop them behind some cardboard and we've got plenty of scraps of trash cardboard let's cut this so I'm going to use these numbers. Like this. I must make this a long video, must I? Let's see, is that going to be the right size for this? Just about. Now that's better because it had cardboard behind it. And we'll do the same with this one. It's very fiddly. Actually what you can do is just put a dob of glue on there. Stick it down where you want it then you don't have to hold it down so right let's go around those they look like little counters that has actually glued itself to the back so let's do it with this one Let's glue it to the back because I've made them nice and they're a little bit um, more 3D that way. So let's do that. Put that on there. So it was just the bit that was punched out. And one can go there and two can go there. Now we want something behind that, don't we? Really, I think. So we've got a little bit of. Mm, not sure what that is. Uh, don't think this. It doesn't rip. It doesn't tear. So, but we can fray it. Let's cut a bit more off this because all these scraps can go for clusters. But let's fray it. Um, a sort of organza. I've got a whole pile of hair. Look, <laughs> what it looks like hair. Oh dear. So. That one can go on there like so. Make sure we know where our centre is again. So it's there. Just that they're evenly spaced. And then this one. Um, I 
should do this over the bin actually but my bin is a little bit full my table bin biscuit tin <laughs> D at D's crafty place gave me the idea for that it's a very good idea so thanks D okay so we're going to have one and two. Gosh, it's all fine through like hair. Okay, so there's our middle there. So if we put one here. I'll go to glue. There's some on the desk, so I'm just going to pop that there like that waste not want not and just pop that on its side because it seems to actually be coming out everywhere now that's that one and I've got it everywhere all over my hands Not going to waste it. So that was where it leaked onto the desk. So that needs to come over a bit. Like that. And then. Make sure those are lined up. That's our belly band done. Right, let's get that stuck down. Oh no, that's not working, is it? I just realised what I've done. I don't want that in the middle. Okay, to rub that off. <sighs> okay, that's not sticky anymore. Put the page back and this can go down here. Now I can see a bit of glue there but that's okay because I've got the rubber and I'm going to rub it off. So I think we'll fold this over a bit like this. And I let it dry but that is where that's going to be in there so I let that belly band dry I'll let that dry and I'll rub that off afterwards oh see it hasn't dried yet make sure that's okay Right, Let's see if I can yeah, I'll get all that off when it's dry. Right. Okay, so that's that side. So I'm just gonna pop my bone folder in there to stop it sticking to that page. Okay, so we go back to here, so that's that page. And this is plain. Okay, there is a headstone there, but um, it's 
okay. So I'm going to put some more washi on. This time I'm just going to pop a bit kind of along the top. Ah, like that. Okay, nice journaling page. Got a little pocket here. Maybe we'll put it on that headstone because I don't really like it. So, okay, all right, okay, I think we might wrap that up and then I'll show you what else I did to it off camera, because we have got a few pages, we've done quite a bit, so we'll get something in this pocket. I mean, just this word is, is quite nice. Cobwebs. Well, we could put cobwebs there. I think that would be nice and make that a little tuck. So we'll do that. Well, it'd be sort of a little shallow pocket. And we have that there, like that. Okay, and I'll make a little something to go in there off camera. So it'll be something that will fit in like that. See, that's perfect. Okay, um, it's got an hour, hourglass. I suppose that's the angel of doom. I'm not saying the other word, but I don't want to spook myself. Um, So I'll think about what I can make for that one. Just a little tag, really. Could even use a bit more of this and make a tag. I'll think about that. Um, let's see. Okay. That's nice. I've done that. That's all done. That's the centre. I'm going to put lace on the page edges as well. This I like. This is nice. Astronomical page. And that's a nice journaling page. And so is that. So we just need to do down the edge like we did on here because it didn't print. I mean, I could have cut that one down, actually, thinking about it, but I haven't. So the other side of it was okay. So we'll take that page out, bearing in mind that's drying on the back. It should be dry by now. And I'm just going to grunge the side of this. And that's what I did with one of the other ones. And, you know, if I put lace on here, it wouldn't show really, but it just takes that white or very pale cream off, you know. So, now I could put something down the side of that. So, let's have a look, see what we've got. Over. In here I have some fibres, so I can get it undone. 
Now we've got some nice little string of black seeds. That would be quite nice. But I think it would need to go on the back of something. So we've got this lovely um this is nice and it's very lightweight i do like that actually so i might put that on there just something different i'm just going to run a thin bead of this down And pop that on there like so pressing it down on the glue like that and i love all the bits that are sticking off it you know all the i like those i'm just going to take that bit out so i don't want that really sparkly bit there not too much anyway we'll... okay right so again that's going back in a heap <laughs> So that's nice. This black sequin there, what, what has escaped from somewhere? Um, let's put some beads along this pocket for change along here. This is going to be tricky, I think. Because they want to curve around the opposite way. Let's see if I can unbend those okay let's have a go let's see how we get on all right and then i will call it a day where did they go here they are so i'm gonna to have to hold that down for a few seconds it's like a caterpillar Wants to keep wriggling about. There. I might even leave them hanging off the edge like that. So that's those two pages. That's that done. That's dry now. So that can go in there. Like so. I'll leave that page out for a minute. Okay, bring back the rest of the signature. And what else have we got on this side? We'll just find another sticker, I think. And that sticker book. Through. it's various things it's not one theme at all I did see one in here earlier that I quite liked the look of and it was um, a moon it was a moon with like a tree line in it so I quite like that so I'm going to pop that down there like that bit of interest okay that's lovely paper so we've got that I think there's plenty of interest on that page and that one let's stamp our spider on there again Do we 
we'll do another one on there, I think. Change it up a bit and we'll maybe we'll do one down that way. Right, so and I'll link round the pages. Got the crow at the back and at the back the skull and then I've got to do something with these two back and front as well. Okay, so I think I'm gonna call it a day now. And I'll carry on and make something to go on these. This is quite nice, this um, frame. could put something in the frame there. Uh, let's see how I get on. Oh, I've got a bigger frame here. It is black. It does look bluey black, but it is black. That would be quite nice if I find something to go in there. Okay, so that's, I think, all for today. So I'm just going to pop this one back in now like so and we'll have a quick flick through of what we've done so far so we've still got to do something with that this is a paper bag it's got a nice journal card in and if somebody wants to put another one in the back and I might do that then I've left the back free like that so I might actually do that, use one of those. These I haven't done anything with yet, all these. I made a little corner tuck here on this one. And a cluster here with some washi tape, a pocket here, a bit of grungy tea stain paper and uh, coffee dyed, I think, which looks burnt. And I made a tag a piece of pack well cover of a, of a collage book not done those put some interest on there a sticker there some of these pages that are like this i don't like to cover too much because i like the pattern a pocket here i've got to make something to go in that I put this is a little tuck here that can have something in it in fact it could have that in it really yeah, that's a nice little, you know, could be a nice little flip up and pop that in there. This is one I did earlier. It's got a nice big tag in and little pocket here with a ticket. So I don't want to make these too bulky. In the back of that's got a little cluster here and another big tag here. And another little pocket here for the ticket. Um, and stenciling on the back. So I did use the black soot for that one. Put that back in there. That I've left. I've left that. And I've left that. Put some interest down there. I'm going to put lace on some of these. And on the back of this, we've made a double pocketed belly band and what I mean by that is this um, is a pocket now I think I should have probably made that into um, put some fingers in that you know think thumb hole so I will try and do that so that's the first side there like that and what else have I got Pop in just to show you that would be second in there like that so it's a double double pocket belly band there that's just to show you what, what can go in there and another sticker here some more washi and some stamping Uh, I haven't done anything with those. That's already got that nice lace edge. And that's it. So we've still got these pages to do. So I'll do those off camera. Anyway, I hope, hope that was of interest to you. Thanks for joining me, for those that did. I do appreciate your support, as you know. And um, please subscribe if you're not already subscribed. That would be absolutely lovely. Thank you very much. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.